Welcome again to Extreme Excel YouTube channel. After watching this video, you will get clear understanding of usage of various lookup techniques that are being used in Microsoft Excel. So first of all, we will be looking at VLOOKUP. So have a look at this data. These are records of students of a class. And we have their names, student IDs, address and other information. Now we want that uh, as we enter the name of that student, we want the uh, rest of the information get auto populated using VLOOKUP. So basically uh, VLOOKUP searches for a value uh, vertically in first column of the table and returns the result of uh, uh, the found record uh, which is placed in that row, right? So let's say I am searching for uh, Tom here. So it will search for Tom in the first column of this table, and I can get uh, fetch uh, values of rest of the records of uh, rest of the uh, um, cells of this records. So I can fetch student ID, address, city, state, and country. But the condition is the value which you are searching need to be in the first column of that table array. So uh, for this, uh, I'll be writing it like this. We look up. Uh, first parameter is lookup value. So I'm looking for Tom. That's why uh, I'm putting Tom here. And table array is, let's say this complete array. and column index now i want a student id that is in second column so therefore therefore column index is 2 and it is asking me whether i want to search that value is an exact match or something very similar to it so i want exact match that's why i'm putting it zero or false here and it returned me the student id of tom here it is one triple zero eight. Similarly, we can write uh, for address, city, and and other fields. Now let's move on to HLOOKUP. HLOOKUP is similar to VLOOKUP. The only difference is the way it looks for or it searches for a value. So VLOOKUP was searching for value in a vertical fashion in first column uh, and HLOOKUP searches for that value in first row and it is in works in horizontal fashion. So it looks for this value in first row of the data table or the table array we specify and it returns the value of corresponding uh, row index which we specify as the third field in our formula uh, so let's take an example so I want uh, the student ID of Shane so Shane is here and we can write the formula like this H lookup search for this value in this complete data table and return the value of corresponding uh, record of uh, second row so the row index is 2 and work as exact match so it returns the value of Shane student ID now if you change the data let's say I make it Aaron so it automatically gives results for that value so this is the benefit of HLOOKUP the uh, one main thing uh, that VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP uh, follows is it only these two only searches for the value in first uh, row or column of the table in uh, array which we 
mentioned in the formula right so let's take uh, let's say you have student id of that uh, person and you want to fetch the name of the person then the reverse is not possible using we look up and let's look up so what i'm saying is let's say you have student id of a person and you have table structure like this now you can search for address city and state and country which is which is uh, which are on right side of that student id using vlookup but you cannot search uh, which uh, anything which is on left side of it right because the value which you are searching need to be as the first uh, column of that table array so we'll be choosing your table array like this and not like this if you choose uh this table array then it will search student id in the first column and not in this right so to uh overcome this we have match and index combination which again works as a lookup technique so let's say you have the student id 1008 and you want name of that person so, so there are two formulas which combine which are combined and which work as uh, lookup technique so one is match match actually matches a value uh, finds a value in the table array which we specify and it returns the row number of it right if you specify the uh, um, table array in in column uh, wise or in uh, vertical fashion then it will return the row number of it and if you specify the table in uh, data table in uh, horizontal uh, form uh, in a row form then it will return the column number of it so it just returns the index where it actually lies in that data table right and index uh, takes the array and uh, takes row number and column number and it only returns the value which is placed in that row and column combination in the table array which is specified so let's see how it works so first of all i'm writing match this value in this table and do exact match so it is returning me 9 so if you see here 1008 1008 is at 9th row right and if i use a combination of index as well so i am copying it to clipboard to write the formula of index index and now i uh, choose the table array let's say i choose complete table array and I specify the row number. Now the row number is coming from the formula which I have written for match, and the column number is first because I want the value of first column and not the second or third this time. So it returns me the value of first column, which is Tom, and which is of this uh, corresponding to this uh, ID. So if you change this ID. it will change the result so now there is no dependency of right or left search it can search in both ways left as well as right that's all about uh, lookup techniques if you have any questions or any doubts or you want to see more videos on this lookup techniques uh, then you can write me at excel dot micro k at gmail.com I'll be waiting for your comments and feedback keep watching our channel thank you bye bye